I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a question on probability for the DAB. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Dad Destroyer book. One of the most important topics on the DAT exam is the math section and most students have very much difficulty with. So I want to go over a problem involving probability. This will be the first of several tapes that we're going to make and I think you're going to enjoy it. There's no better person that I know of to do a probability problem than Professor Blois. So Professor Blois is going to walk us through this problem that's going to involve two traffic lights. And it says that there are two traffic lights on the road to Mandalay. The first traffic light is green 60% of the time. The second one is green 30% of the time. I can relate to that. I don't know about you guys. And I want to know what is the probability that a car on this road to Mandalay catches both green lights. So what we got to do in order to catch both green lights is we're going to look at the percent which we're going to interchange with probability um, and be able to calculate the probability that we're going to be able to find two green lights. All right, I'm going to leave this to Professor Blois, and we're actually going to add part B, C, and D, where C and D is a little bit more trickier than the first two. Okay, let him do it, Professor Blois. It's all Hi. yours. The, the assumption we're making is that the two lights are changing at random, so there's no way of predicting what the light uh, configuration is going to be. Let's say P1 is the probability that the first light is green. That's 60%, that's 0.6. Let's call P2 the probability that the second light is green. That's 30% or 0.3. So what we want is the probability that both lights are green. We want the probability that the first light is green and the second light is green. And the word and is important because in probability, when the word and appears in the question, that usually implies the product of probabilities of two events, providing that the two events are independent, which they are here. So we want, what's the probability if we have P1 and P2? That's going to lead to the product. The and is going to turn into a product P1 times P2. That's going to be 0.6 times 0 0.3 and that's 0 0.18 or 18 percent. So that's the probability that the car on the road to Mandalay is going to encounter both lights green. Okay, we can also ask the question, what's the probability that a car on the road to Mandalay is going to encounter two red lights in this, uh, in this the way the problem is described? Well, very simply, uh, now we can say that probability of a red light for red light for the first red light is going to be a complement of 0 0.6. If the light is green 60% of the time, well, then it's red 40% of the time. So the probability that the first light is red is 40%. Likewise, the probability that the second light is red is going to be the complement of the probability that it's green. So instead of 0 0.3, 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. So the question asks both lights red. So we want the probability of, probability of red 1 and probability of red 2. We want, we want the uh, combination of both. We want both uh, events to occur. So that means we're going to take the product of the probabilities. Pro probability of the first times the second or 0 0.4 times 0 0.7 and that gives us 0 0.28 or 28 percent. Okay, so that's the answer to that. What's the probability of finding both lights red? Now, let's go on to this next problem. What's the probability that exactly one light is green, that the car going to Mandalay encounters exactly one green light? Exactly is a term that often comes up in probability questions because it specifies exactly one, which means two possibilities. Either the first, the car encounters the first light as green, the second light is red, or the first light is red and the second light is green. So we want two possibilities. We want uh, first light red, we want uh, green, and red or red and green. So let's get this straight here. We want the probability that we encounter the first light green, the second light, and the second light red, and turning into multiplication, 
or the first light red and the second light green, the and turning into multiplication. The word or implies addition in, in uh, uh, probability. So what's the probability that the first light is green? We already know that, it's 0 0.6. What's the probability that the uh, second light is red? We already know that, it's 0 0.7. Okay, or turns into plus. What's the probability that the first light is red? We already have that there, 0 0.4. What's the probability that the first light is green? We have that from the beginning of the program, 0 0.3. So we're going to add the, we're going to multiply these two individual products together. 0 0.6, 0 0.7, that's 0 0.42. And we're going to add that to 0 0.4 times 0 0.3. It was 0 0.14, uh, 0 0.12 that is. And we're going to get the result 0 0.54, or 54% of the time, he's, the car is going to encounter at least one green, uh, uh, exactly one green light, okay, exactly one green light. Then we come to this final part of the question. What is the probability that the car will encounter at least one green light? So what we want to do is, is the probability of exactly one green light, right? added to the probability or the probability of two green lights. Okay, so we have a combination of probabilities here. We, uh, at least one green light means the probability that he's going to encounter exactly one green light or the probability he's going to encounter exactly two green lights. So exactly one green light, we already have that probability, 0 0.54. We don't need to do all that calculation again, 0 0.54. or is going to give us a plus, going to indicate that we're going to add the probability. What's the probability that we're going to encounter two green lights? Well, that's already up here. We've already calculated that from part A, a 0 0.18. We add these two up and we get 0 0.72, 72. There's a 72% chance that the car will encounter at least one green light. Now, this is one way to do the problem, but notice in answering this final problem, we would have to do a lot of calculations. Probability of exactly one green light means we have to do a product and then another product and then add them together and then add the probability of exactly two green lights. It's a lot of calculation. If you're wise to the principle of exclusion, you can do this in much less calculation, much, much less steps. At least one green light, what does that mean? that the car encounters at least exactly one green light or two green lights, what's the only outcome that's being left out of this? It's the outcome of, their, of the car encountering two red lights. So what we want to do is say, well, what's the probability of, his, of the car not encountering two red lights? That answers this question. That's at least one green light or at least two green lights. So all we have to do is say this is also equal to one minus the probability of two red lights. And that we already have in counting. What's the probability that both lights are red? 28%, which is 0 0.28. We do that calculation and we get the exact same value that we had in the calculation right above it, 72%. So by using this principle of exclusion, we can save ourselves a lot of time. So you, could, you should look for the uh, opportunity to use the principle of exclusion when you're doing these problems. Okay, Professor Blois, we want to thank you. We're deeply honored to have My, you here. My pleasure. Professor Blois is the best in the business. Um, Professor Blois was actually my instructor many years ago, but I'm not going to say how many years ago, because then you'll think I'm an old geezer. But at any rate, this is a very, very important problem, and I want you to make sure you practice it, and we got problems just like this in the Math Destroyer. Okay, good day to you. I hope this helps. See you soon. Bye-bye.